Maybe you've been hearing a lot about it lately. What is the blockchain? Check this out. So imagine this, you live in New York City and you want to talk to somebody who lives in Thailand. What do you do? You pick up the phone and you call them directly or you text message them directly or you do a video chat with them directly. But what if you wanted to send them money? You would have to take that money and through your bank send it to them. There is a middleman. So the blockchain was created to essentially transfer money without having a middleman. It was originally created to transfer money or Bitcoin, but now it can be used for anything. It can be used to transfer goods or services, anything of value, even votes. Now imagine this, imagine a spreadsheet, but it's not just on your computer, it's on a lot of computers. And this spreadsheet can be updated by many different people, and once it's updated, everybody gets the updates at the same time. This is a picture of the blockchain. If you want to think about it this way, it's kind of like Google Docs. Remember before Google Docs, if you had a Microsoft Word document, you would email it to somebody, they could update it, make changes, and then email it back to you, and then you could make changes, and then email it back to them, and they could make changes. And then Google Docs came along, where there was a Microsoft Word online, and anybody who had access to that account could go in and make changes to the document. And that is real similar to how the blockchain works. It's called a blockchain because this continually growing list of records are done in segments called blocks. And each block is placed on top of the other with a timestamp. Now these blockchains are very secure. And here's why. You, once you build a block and then you put another one on top of it, which is just more data, and then more data goes up on that, all these blocks are kept together in a ledger, a public open record that we all manage. If somebody wanted to go back and change a transaction or steal money somehow, they would have to go back in the blockchain all the way back and not only change that transaction, but change everything that led up to that. And it would be really, 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 really complicated. And because of that, the blockchain technology is very secure. Once someone makes a transaction on the blockchain, all the other computers verify that. And there has to be a consensus before that transaction is verified and goes forward. And although the blockchain was created originally in 2008, for Bitcoin, it can be used for anything, and the applications for the future are endless. If I get 1,000 likes, I will make more videos on this. So if you learned something, if you liked it, give me a like, and we'll make more videos on this if we get 1,000 likes. Click the button below and subscribe. You don't want to miss these videos. Are you crazy? These are, this is good stuff. Come on, subscribe. This can't be the last time that we talk to each other. Subscribe.